Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is Mountain Dew Baja Passion Punch. Look, take in this can. Take in, the, take in this can. Look at all the art on this can. Ain't it nice? You got this bird here. That's a bird, right? Some kind of skater bird. I said see a later bird. <laughs> that was dumb. Um, an alligator. Wait, is that an alligator? Yeah, it's an alligator. You can only see the top row of teeth. Or as a crocodile, you can see the bottom and top rows of teeth. Um, some kind of, what is this? We got some passion fruit. Oop. Passion fruit falling from the sky. A volcano. All kinds of stuff. Anyway, Baja Passion Fruit Punch is due with the blast of natural and artificial passion fruit flavor. Got this nice Mardi Gras colors on here. A little purple, a little gold or yellow, a little teal. Let's read the ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness. Caffeine, sodium, citrate, gum, arabic, calcium, nope, calcium, disodium, EDTA, to protect flavor. Red, 40, blue, 1. Baldwin Authority, PepsiCo Incorporated, Perch, New York, 1057. 55 milligrams of... 55 milligrams of caffeine in this can. 55 milligrams, 55 tots, 55 burgers, 55 fries. Let's see what color this is. So... I had to get a 12 pack of this. I found this at um, Walmart, I think. No, I found this at HEB. And I had to get a 12 pack. I see it, I buy it. I'm me and Ariana Grande, just like that. Let's. It smells purple. No, there's a passion fruit scent to it. <clears throat> Pour it in the glass. See what we got here? Come on, glass focus. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's a beautiful color. Would look great in a styrofoam cup. Scent's about the same. That isn't as... I, that has a lot less of a shock than I thought it would. That's fairly smooth. That's a pretty smooth do. Passion fruit flavor is pretty sweet, but it's not overly so. It's not overpoweringly sweet. Drinking from the can was a bit more of a burn. I guess now that it's building on itself, there's a bit more of a burn there. Um, kind of a kind of a sizzle. It's like a soft sizzle. Like when you first put an egg on a hot skillet. That first, that first one. Not before the heat really, like you put it on there a little too early. Like just a little too early. And then it quiets down. That's what that sizzle feels like. When I'm smelling it now, I'm getting a little bit of a cotton candy scent. But it's not translating to the taste. But every swig I take, that's a weird word, swig. Is it like slang? For like a swallow? A, sw a swig is smaller than a swallow, right? That's such a strange one. Anyway, with every swig I take, with every move I make, I'll be watching you. And I taste, I sense, I, hope I smell with my nose, cotton candy. Okay. That is odd. I get, while I'm drinking it, I get a little bit of a roasted marshmallow sensation. Immediately it goes away though, and that, that kind of candy passion fruit flavor kicks in. Again, it's a little, it's, it's not vaguely fruity. You can definitely tell it's a passion fruit flavored soda and not like a, is this blueberry? Is this raspberry? I can't tell. Well, that's my voice when I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that's good. You know what else is good? Mountain Dew Baja. Car Caribbean Splash. 
Caribbean Splash? We're going to go with Caribbean Splash. That's right, two sodas. Didn't see that coming, did you, people who didn't look at the thumbnail? You're confused. You were like, there's a good five minutes left in this review. What's he going to... Oh, a second soda. Maybe I should look at the thumbnail. This one's got a frog on it that I'm in love with. Look at that frog. Fall in love with the frog. <clears throat> that frog is eating... <clears throat> pardon me. The frog is eating like a flaming... Oh, this is due with a blast of natural and artificial guava flavor. So that frog is eating a flaming guava. They're falling from the sky. This frog is great. I enjoy the frog. Also, this puffer fish has a necklace on. This is the superior can. Flaming, oh, it's another volcano. This volcano, was the pineapple flaming? I guess it was. I think it's supposed to be a... Oh, sorry. The passion fruit. It looks like the passion fruit's coming from the volcano. I think with the red coloring, it's a little more obvious on this one. The volcano erupted, and these flaming guava are falling from the sky. That's great. That's wonderful. Ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness. Caffeine, sodium citrate, gum arabic, calcium, disodium, EDTA, to protect flavor. Red 40, yellow 6, bottling the 35 scum incorporated, reports New York, 1057. Um, 55 milligrams of, sorry, it's an amusing sketch that I keep referencing in my brain, and forever, forever will when I hear 55. Um, if you don't, if you've never seen the sketch comedy show, I think you should leave with Tim Robinson, the most recent season. Just type in 55 burgers, 55 fries into YouTube, and I think that'll come up. Anyway, that's what I keep thinking of. 55 milligrams of caffeine for every 12 ounces. Where is my cup? Here's my cup. Any more purple left in it? Pretty empty. Um, just a, like a flavor palate cleanser. I have, I have two soggy French fries. This is going to help. All right. Okay, that smells pretty guava-y. I like that a lot. That's a pretty pink color. Kind of a peach. The guava scent is strong, though. My camera just said I have three minutes left on the memory. Well, I kind of better hustle this up. That's quite tasty. Guava has a little bit more of a bitter taste to it, but it's not off-putting in any way. It's just, it's not quite as smooth, not quite as syrupy, not quite of uh, sweet all the way through. Glad I didn't waste any of that three minutes, two minutes. That's pretty tasty. The guava, they're doing a good job of letting the flavor shine. Some Mountain Dew flavors it's it's vague citrusy fruit fruit and this one i can really taste the guava i could really taste i mean you know it's not in there but i could taste the guava i could taste the passion fruit um carbonation wise this is about the same it's kind of a fizz kind of a fizzle nothing adding some texture but that's about it man this this thing's he's wearing a necklace And you're not overly sweet. Kind of a bit of a pear at the back end. I got a little bit of pear taste at the back end. Which, it's fun. Anyhow. Oh, 0% juice. And 0% juice. You know what else has 0% juice? The SodaDrink.net. With more than one... Oh, you can find this. It's a limited edition thing. It's in Walmart and places. The SodaDrink.net. With more than 1,000 soda reviews, the SodaDrink.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. That's right. Sodajerk.net. I haven't tried them all yet.